Hello and welcome to this live code hangout. Today we're going to be working on the Western Friend website. We've got a task that's all set up here where we want to create a page, a news page on the Western Friend website. It's sort of like this, except using structured content. Our source code is open and available on GitHub. So if you want to try out the code on your own computer or borrow any of the ideas for your own projects, you can check us out. GitHub.com, Western Friend, WF website. So the main idea here is that the editor wants to be able to create a news page called Extra Extra. And on that page, have some introductory text and links. So kind of like a rich text field, for example. And then display a list of curated news items that are sort of faceted or grouped by a couple of uh, taxonomies, kind of a news type, for example, which we have an events feature, but uh, maybe we'll skip that one up. Uh, but uh, you can see that there are headers for each of the um, news types and underneath each header are the related news items. Now I'm not sure if, uh, if one news item can appear under multiple sections. We can cross that bridge later, but for today I'm going to get a basic, um, basic proof, of, proof of concept here. Assuming like um, basically one to many relationships. So one topic can have many news items but one news item can only have one topic, something along those lines. Topic and type. And news item shouldn't be in multiple types. And then news item um, should belong to at most one meeting. I've got a couple of uh, fields listed here with asterisks to indicate that I believe they should be required. Um, we're going to use a stream field, which is a, a nice feature of Wagtail Editor. So these are my rough thoughts on the task. I kind of gave myself a little task checklist to make sure I'm going along um, making progress. And we've already got code in this project which can serve as a basic archetype or kind of a recipe to follow. So hopefully I won't have to be figuring things out too much. Basically, so let's get started. So I haven't been in this project for a while, uh, deep in the code, so I'm going to have to kind of familiarize myself with the code as we go. So all of our um, features are in the root directory of the project. We're going to manage pi uh, start app. We'll call this news items. News items. Or just news. Sounds kind of nice. So Jingle scaffold an initial news app for us. And I'm in a branch already, so we're just gonna commit directly and I can push the branch as we go, but I'm not gonna mess with that for the time being. I'm keeping my eye on the chat over here in case anybody hops in the uh, live stream and wants to participate, ask any questions, suggest ideas, uh, or just talk about Python and web development in general. So basically, we're going to create three models, oh, four models, sorry. Uh, this news index page will be where the initial introductory text and news items are displayed. I'll populate the context with that. We might do a faceted search. I think the faceted search approach is going to be good, like we have here in the library, uh, where you can filter the news items. It'll be familiar. That way, I don't have to create. Um, more index pages than one. We'll have one index page here, which will display all the news items with a faceted search interface. Otherwise, I would need to kind of create a news uh, or an inter, uh, sorry, an index page for each of these other models so that you could browse by topics. You could browse the topics list or 
Yeah, because in our URL hierarchy, uh, we would have news slash topic slash. I would need to have some listing of news uh, in that topic. If I click the topic, it, it should show. Let's, let's figure it out when we get there. Actually, it might not be too bad. I think we're already going to have the page here. We might not need the topics in the next page. Again, this is a rough sketch, but I, I try to think ahead a little bit and anticipate uh, the design. And then the news item with foreign key and select widgets. And we'll create a composite uh, admin menu item. So for, let's see. Uh, I'll show you the what that'll look like here. Let's copy this. When we log in. I go to Wagtail Admin. We're going to follow basically what we've done with this magazine design. We have a top level admin menu, which is um, combining several sub menus where you can manage these essentially a taxonomy in the Drupal term, or it's like a, a way of categorizing things. We're migrating from Drupal to Wagtail, and um, you know, Wagtail has this first class uh, notion of a taxonomy, and Wagtail uh, and Drup uh, Django it, uh, doesn't specify that you should use that concept, but you can have foreign key relationships and basically use those to categorize content uh, in a way that a taxonomy would fu function. So for example, here we have only one department, but uh, magazine articles can be categorized um, in departments, and then for each department you can view related uh, articles that can come from multiple issues. An issue consists of articles uh, grouped in like a time frame, like a month or a couple months, uh, depending on the, the relevancy of the issue. Whereas the taxonomy, uh, the departments exist in each issue has the same departments. And so you can view articles across time that are sort of just a facet, a way of looking at content. We have another use of facets here for the uh, media library which uh, I should actually move these. In the media library have a, a media items and a facets. I should put them all together like we did the magazine. We're kind of getting into the housekeeping stage of the project, but we still, still have to add a few features. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the code. And um, I'm gonna leave these open for magazine reference. And we just added news. So right here, I'm gonna open the models pie and look at our task definition one more time. So for the news index page, we'll, we'll kind of be able to copy and paste the uh, magazine department index page because it's got a field. Now we're using intro to give a little bit of freeform text. Um, then we show that intro to the editor. We constrain the sub pages. So underneath the um, News index page will only allow news items. Uh, index pages, we only have one because we wouldn't, uh, it would uh, defeat the purpose of being an index page. Whereas new, uh, news items, we don't have any maximum count. But we only want one index page to show all the news items and let you navigate from there. Then we override the context, and um, you know, here we're returning departments, but in the news items, we will return those. So I'm going to kind of copy and paste this, just checking to make sure I understand the code and before copying and pasting it. And we'll keep the index page part. We'll call these news index page. Rich text fields, we'll need our imports. Let's see if it'll resolve this for me. And here, um, we 
we'll just leave the context as it is, um, as a reminder to come back to it. the app under core settings base apps list looking for it's like a relative to the current app it's looking for a, a model in the current app I didn't give a it's the wrong model to begin with but, uh, so far we're just going to uh, constrain it to being no sub items but I believe we'll have all of them will be children of the news index page because wagtail is a hierarchical well the wagtail page model is hierarchical I should say meaning that you have one kind of root page and all the other pages are nested underneath of that or in a, in a hierarchy um, and so in the tree in the, in the page tree we'll have a news page and that actually corresponds to the URL as well uh, which is kind of a hierarchical pattern so we'll have the domain name slash news for the news index page and then the news items should probably come underneath that so domain news slash item name we might look at a different um, URL schema, but one of the benefits of just using Wagtail is you don't have to think about the URL structures. It's following just the hierarchy. So um, if we use the news item slug, we'll just get clean URLs. And hopefully there won't be too many collisions. But if so, um, Wagtail will just um, append a, a, a counter onto the end of it. So all the slugs will be unique. So you can see the usefulness of this um, error message. It's telling me, well, this app you're in news doesn't have a model called magazine department. If I wanted to use the magazine department, I would have had to set, specify the app name and then a die and then the model. So that just kind of helps you as a developer understand what's going on. I think Wagtail and Django and Python in general have that ethos of, of keeping, um, being, you know, informative and being explicit or being clear what's going on. All right, so now we've got our news, um, news items index page. So when I run this server, and I'm just not sure I can get, just need to change this. what's going on here. Refresh locally. There we go. Register news app. Or install news app, I guess. So now I should be able to going uh, go to the uh, what? I feel I'm in here, go to the page. And essentially, um, I have to determine where the news should live in the page hierarchy. So th this uh, root page is called welcome. And you can see it's kind of like at the root, at the namespace. This is the root level, but our site has this, where I can add new sites. Wagtail has multi-site by default. So in our default site, our main site, the welcome page is the root page, um, even though there's a root below that, but allowing you to branch off in multiple sites. So it's pretty cool. We might use this in a different project. Our Western Front project will only be used on one site. One site, so we don't need that. But you can see here, 
under sites, you specify the pattern and which the root page should be. And I guess the root page can be several pages deep. You just select any page. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go back here. One, let's see the page tree under the welcome. Now, let's see. It's only going to let me create. Um, A couple of other page types, page collection. I can't remember what this was used for, but uh, uh, we have just a generic page that um, lets the content editor just create a page for any reason. And this page collection index page is different. And if you notice, though, our um, news page is not listed there. That is because I need to define two, two in two places. I'm just thinking if I need to define it here. Parent page type is not defined here, so it's, this can be created under any um, sub page, which I don't think is ideal. So, for example, if I go to well, it should be fairly constrained. But if I go to community, I don't know if it can peek in here. Uh, I'm just going to be very specific though. Parent page types is an array of page types and it's going to be home dot home page I believe that's the name of it. and that's going to tell our news index page it can only exist underneath the home page but our home page doesn't know well, our home page is also being strict so if we go to home our home page model has sub page types, and here we have an alphabetical list. So our app name is News. News index page. So now I'm at the welcome page, our home. If I add a child page, now we see the news index page. publish and view live we'll get an error okay I have not created this index page so essentially we'll go back to news uh, templates here's the next page um Let's see the magazine department. I would like to copy and paste some code so I don't have to quite think so hard. So I go to actual magazine templates. And we'll paste it and just take a look. So we have a, a root or a base template that has our uh, essentially our CSS imports, some top level JavaScript. It's got navigation menu, uh, potentially footer items, and it surrounds the content. And you render the content inside of a block. And we're using some cord, some tags here. So let's see, we may or may not need those. I think we'll use the URL helper to. Um, to display the news items, but I haven't passed those context, that context data in there, and we're going to be taking a faceted search approach. So I'm going to just delete this out. I believe we'll take a faceted search approach. This is going to have to be something to, I'll discuss with Mary. All right, so I saved it, but the thing is I created a new file on disk, so a new directory at least, and file. So I think when you create a new directory, Django won't like pick up your changes. You have to kind of reload it, but then there we go. So essentially we, um, we'll come back. We'll leave this wagtail core tags in there. It gives you some template tags that can be useful, like auto-generating page uh, URLs or filtering rich text. So actually we did need that for this rich text editor. If I edit this page and I say latest news, publish that change. When I view the live version, the latest news is um, displayed because of the rich text filter. Otherwise, if I take this rich text filter off, just by way of example, refresh, 
it um, displays the raw markup. Interesting. Data blocking. So I don't know. Let's save that. Refresh. So yeah, that's why we need that wagtail tag. So let's see what we've done here. That's the initial template. I think I'll come back to the faceted uh, search question later. Uh, see how far we can get today with this task, but um, maybe I'll make a note of that. So we've kind of done this one. We'll have, to learn, we'll have to figure out and decide how we want the um, reader to browse the news items. At the very least, I can regroup them, but there's potentially going to be a lot of um, news items. So even regrouping would be a growing list. Hmm. Nested, you know, organized, but yeah, just growing. And, and as you can see, um, this is what happens when you have this kind of regrouping effect where they're grouped by um, type here in this case, but the list goes on and on and on and on. So a filter might do good. And including a date filter, you might only want to see recent ones, which you can do with faceting. So we'll, we're looking to improve the user experience here. First, I've got to get the basics in place. All right, so we've got that. Now, news item topic model, and we're just going to use as a reference we'll have to put it in a hmm. we might need these index pages anyway we have to put the news item topics in the page tree or no we might not The question is, if I want to have a URL structure like news slash topics slash topic name, then I would need two um, templates. One template to list all the topics for each news, for the news content type, and then one for each topic type, which would naturally happen. A uh, one template for rendering a topic that is con uh, related content to that topic. So only two new templates, uh, two page models. We're going to create a page model for topics, and then I would need an index, topics index page model for that case, which might not be too too much. And that would allow us, uh, then I can get a URL. Hmm, thank you for a second. We list all the topics. And then when you're browsing a news item and you click on the topic name, you're going to want to probably go to a page listing news items by that topic anyway, which will need a path in the URL. I mean, that means it needs a parent page type. If we model it as a wagtail page model, if I don't model as a wagtail page model, then I need to handle all the other accoutrements, including defining the URL. So I think a little bit of, um, Adding a little bit of like boilerplate here will save a little bit of boilerplate trade-offs um, in terms of adding a, a topics index page. And then also allows me to nest the content in the administrative interface more cleanly. I'll show you that. So for example, in the magazine departments, if I go to the pages, magazine, 
departments. It's actually, this is the page tree, the browser, and you know, the generic wagtail, and it doesn't matter what our content types are, it just displays the whole tree and lets me go to the child elements. And in order to do this, have these kind of folders, magazine folder, I had to create index pages, magazine index page, department index page. Once you've got the index page, then you can have a, a cleaner URL tr structure. Magazine departments shows all the departments. Magazine department inward lights. So this is where I need to and you have overlooked the uh, template. So magazine department detail template. I just double check it. Seems like an oversight. Yeah, didn't define it. So overall, it's not too much ceremony, um, but it's easy to overlook. So I just need to make sure I do that. Let's go ahead and start that. I'll go down that path. I think it's overall going to be nice. Like this is a nice interface. Nice uh, URL scheme. And yeah, then you can do it. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't add that. You can browse magazine articles by department. Hmm. Maybe that's in another pull request in any case. I've got a, a new issue. Okay, so news item topic model. And in that case, I've kind of decided that these are all gonna inherit from the Wagtail page model. I'm just gonna follow that because that's what gives me that free, um, the URL hierarchy and, and everything else. So let me just get a little bit more tea. And we'll continue. We'll probably have a one hour session today. I'll see how far I can get down this list. It's going to be a little bit of rinse and repeat once I get the initial parts in motion. I've got to make a couple of early decisions here and kind of think them through about the trade-offs. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to get that uh, some tea. All right, ready to roll. So let's look at the magazine department model. redundant the string method is already defined I think some of this code is a little bit old I need to clean it up I was using autocomplete widget at one point which I think we've stopped using
and the string method is already defined, so I think this is redundant, made redundant by the page model. So essentially all we'll need is a class with a title field, which already exists, display the title field, uh, hide this settings panel, which is a bit... Um, it's useful on some contexts, like if you have publication date, or you want to control privacy, but with the departments, we didn't need that, these settings, which are kind of part of Wagtail by default. So we're, you can just set that settings panel to an empty list to hide it. We'll do that here. So with news and next page, field title, settings panel. Now our parent page type is going to be, is it going, going to be where I need this. Um, news topic index page. All right. Topics and give us a little bit of rich text. I need to stop the server. Ah, okay, dang it. Well, let me see. I'm copying and pasting code, so it's going to be caught. It's going to be causing some problems. So I can kind of ignore these, ignore these for now. So here's the parent page type. It's going to be actually just news index page right in the same app. So it'll be news slash topics. Now the sub page types is going to be news topic. Yes, which I'll put here. And one index page and context, we're just going to return that. Come back to this context. Well, actually, this might not be necessary because the page already has a the page class already has a method to get children. So, from any page, I can get children and siblings. And parent, I think you can also get the parent page. So that's cool. I don't need any context to return the children of the news topics index page, which should uh, we'll then list on there. Okay. And the news po topics is about where it ends. So let's go ahead and format that just make sure it looks nice. We don't need too many. Um, we can migrate both of these in at the same time. I'm just thinking, so model name should be singular, uh, which this is news topics index page, singular. Uh, news topics, uh, I guess, okay. News topic index page, doesn't matter so much.
Now at this point, I could start adding in the uh, Wagtail, registering this with the Wagtail admin interface, because right now I don't have quite, so this is published, uh, any interface to manage news items. sort of consolidate these for example these events can go underneath that maybe memorials can go underneath the news these might go together revenue or something like that well anyway and a store could go into there for a later day. So essentially what we're at is um, server error. Welcome, then we've got our news item and there's no sub pages. So in order to create the topics, I need to tell this news item next page this news index page that the sub page types of news topics index page is allowed and reloading and now I can add a child page now it knows the only type of child page is um, topics Always is adding this intro text, so it's, it should be optional, I suppose, but maybe it's okay to have it. So now I need to have it mandatory. Now I need to add this template. And again, this is just a bit boilerplate, but uh, essentially it boils down to that. And since it's in this uh, same folder, it's an existing folder, Django just picked it up. So you can see the hierarchy here, news topics, listing of the topics, which I haven't provided the template context for that yet. Now, since we'll add the topic, start working our way through that template hierarchy again, a little further. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 we. We did that, so then all I need to do is go back to the Wagtail admin, go to the pages, news, topics, and add a child page, and it knows it can only be a news topic, which spiritual deepening is an example of that, and publish that. When I view live, news, topics, spiritual deepening, looking good. I just need to add this template. And essentially crib the code. I don't know if the intro text is a, uh, would be nice to have. Maybe I think so. I'll just do it means migrating in a field an introduction to what you know spiritual deepening is or whatever the uh, topic is at hand so we'll just add that on hold
this is a completely new feature, so I have a little, well, this whole project I've got some latitude, but in, in any case, um, I'm kind of able to design this as I go, and I'm going to make it consistent with the other features we've got in the project. So you basically always have an introductory text whenever you're creating a page. That's very common in this project. It would be very familiar already. So now I can edit this page, and whether or not the intro should be... Uh, Mandatory is another question we can decide. But when I view it, there you go. Looking good. So we added the field. Consistency means we're able to kind of reuse this template. In fact, I could, <laughs> at this point, I can just say extends, you know, regular, or some sort of generic intro page template, but I don't know, because it is, I'm repeating this quite a lot. Right, so I could basically do that in one line since it's not changing, but I, it's going to change. I'm going to have some context uh, variables available soon. So. Mm, yeah, let's leave it as it is. Very cool, and specifically the list of news items that are categorized by that topic. Okay, a little bit further on the road, on the path. And about 42 minutes into the live code session. I think I'll get through this last segment and I'll save some of this uh, news item model in the fastest search for another, another live stream and the registering. I might just today register these with the Wagtail admin. It could be depending on how much time I have. All right, so let's just rinse and repeat this news item type. It's going to be the same code as the news item or news topic. I'll need an index page and a model. News topic. All right, so news topics, index page, news topic. News. Just like to manually do that. I don't know, just some kind of caution. So I'll need two new templates. News topic, news topics, next page. News type, next page. News type.
I think that's it. They should now. Should now appear in the uh, Wagtail admin. Under pages. Welcome, news. Now I actually need to edit the news. Oops. Uh, go to that. And Gotta come the other way too. From the news index page, I also need to specify the child. There we go, news topics, news type. That's why it's both ways. It's um, more tightly constrained that way. So um, well, it's kind of hard for me to explain concisely, but basically, you wanted to find from the parent page perspective only what can uh, be defined as child pages. Uh, but there's cases where you could, uh, if you've not specified that, the um, other page type could be defined. Uh, I'm not sure of the use cases, to be honest, off the top of my head, but I know it's been an issue before. So I, I just define it from both both angles. So news type. Mm. Now event is a different, it's its own event type, I believe, um, or content type. So we're going to try to uh, not reinvent the wheel there, or not reuse that one. But uh, so we got that, and then now under the. Sorry, that's the wrong thing. So this is news type. slug if it doesn't automatically. Now we got news type and then I can go back to the admin area here. Exploring news types. Types I believe it should be plural. Topics. Anyway the title and the um, URL slug are independent. Okay now we've got news. Let's see if I got that. Be bold, publish that. All right, very cool. So you can see, same thing. News type, current and recent activities. We'll need to populate the context, but I will work on the context. Once I get the news items models put in place, we'll put them back in the page context so we'll get listings. Uh, although we might work also on a facet to search because I think we'll probably want this as well. These. Uh, keyword kind of navigation where you click and it takes you to a listing just of that. Uh, although, if we go with my original idea was to go with only the faceted search, which can take URL arguments instead of um, paths, you can pass in the URL parameters, which uh, then go directly into the faceted search widget. Um, and in that case, I can populate this URL parameters in when we're iterating over. Uh, or displaying the topic link. I don't know if they get multiple topics. That might be the case. These are things I'll clarify with Mary in a little while. Uh, we're going to meet in about uh, two hours, a little under two hours. But I do have a little bit of time, 50 minutes. Let's see, in 10 minutes, I'll just check that box, commit these. And um, this is the first pass. There's going to be room for improvement.
we'll just use this example of the wagtail hooks um, where we define some model and admin menus and register them we group them together and then register them so I'm gonna just copy and paste this it's um, we've only got two so far I think the documentation says you should do this in wagtail hooks although uh, I would like it to be under like an admin.py but admin.py is kind of Django only and I'm not sure if it would quite behave the same and besides we've used wagtail hooks as per the documentation in other places so I want consistency and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to fix our imports and uh, no quick fix is available all right model admin model admin group okay I need two of those But our models are uh, amazing. It's some news. Let's see what went the um, We don't want the index pages here. We want the news. Topic and type. like that like a newspaper though fun awesome newspaper I did it clearly magazine well, I want to make sure I just read a little closer news my Facebook Oh, it's right up there. Yeah, some news. FA news. Font awesome. I think we're on font awesome for newspaper icon. Newspaper. And we'll put it like 300. We'll put it a little further down there. We'll reorganize the menu. Over time, and consolidate. All right, so it doesn't have that. Looks a little different. All right, news, and then you can see departments and departments. Okay, so those are type and topic. For those, I'm not going to get too fancy. It must be 
100. So our menu's getting a little bit long. But yeah, that basically allowed us to um, register a management interface. I think I'll, I might put the event underneath the news, but it's not quite the same. It's in a different app altogether. So it's kind of a hard decision. And we've kind of done this, uh, but not quite. So let's go ahead and commit this code and we'll wrap it up. Oops. Well, great. This has been a lab code session. Uh, no activity in the chat, but that's not a big deal. It's always nice to uh, leave the chat open in case anybody has any questions or comments. Uh, if you're watching the video, uh, the live stream video after the fact, uh, do feel free to um, make any suggestions or ask any questions in the comments section of the video. I'll do a real quick recap. And so that there's a shorter video to look at, to watch. Yeah. So we'll see these changes. And we'll associate this um, pull request. We'll create a pull request and associate it with the issue. And we'll recap 319. We'll create it as a draft here. So we'll commit and we'll just spin through the code. Welcome to the recap of today's live code hangout. Today we've been working on an issue for the Western Friend website. We're going to create uh, news feature that allows you to display news items called extra extra let's see if I can get back to the uh, main extra extra page and categorize those pages by topic and kind of the type of news um, content it is as well as a relationship to what are called yearly meetings and the um, the Quaker community their organizations are kind of groups uh, Quaker uh, people who meet at a meeting house on a, usually like a weekly basis or sometimes annually, depending on the size of the meeting. Essentially the existing Western friend website has this extra extra page that the editor kind of manually um, makes. And in fact, it's kind of a copying and pasting um, task where articles and uh, items are added as content on the Western Friend website and then copied and pasted, the link is copied and pasted into this big list, uh, this growing list. And um, we want to basically make it so the editor can just create the news item and the list will automatically grow by itself. And we might get um, a little bit more um, sort of fancy, so to speak, to do a faceted searching interface where you can kind of filter by topic, for example. Um, so we're taking this manual process and we're kind of automating parts of it for our new Wagtail website. So today I'll show you the user interface. We've got a menu, a news um, menu, where you can define the news topics and the types of posts and types of news items. Um, we're working our way through a small checklist here. The next one will be adding the news item um, model. We'll do that in a follow-up um, live coding session with a few fields and mainly these foreign key fields. So we'll get to explore those in Wagtail. And I've registered two of these with the Wagtail admin interface, which is what gives us this nice pop-out menu and this interface to um, add news types and edit the existing ones. 
And I'll discuss with Mary if we want to do a faceted search approach here. In any case, for each of these topics or news types, we'll display a list, a growing list of news items, as well as on the news index page, we'll have a have to determine, but I believe we'll either list the topics and types here or have a growing list with faceted searching capabilities. This is a feature um, in progress. We're kind of, it's a new or an improvement to the existing workflow, as I mentioned previously. We'll look at a bit of the code here. So I opened a pull request and linked it to this issue. And it's about 20 files, most, um, you know, a little bit of boilerplate and re re repeated code. So. We created a new um, app and we registered it, a news app, Django, and d defined um, some models. And our home page is going to um, have a sub link to the news. So we got the home page, and then underneath that is news. So the news page is a child of home in the wagtail content hierarchy. I'm going to go um, top to bottom here. It might not make the most conceptual sense, but it's going to be the quickest for, way for me to review the code um, to make sure you, I cover all the changes and explain those. Uh, when I was uh, writing the code, I'm referring to other code we've written to borrow uh, lessons from the past that I might not like remember off the top of my head uh, without having to do a lot of searching or figuring stuff out. This is a kind of conventional feature, so I just want to turn to um, where we've already solved these problems. I did notice some optional cleanup code, so I just commented to myself to remember I might be able to remove these. We're not using an autocomplete widget, I believe. Um, but in any case, so I, I scaffolded a news app, and it comes with some boilerplate stuff, config and admin pie that are empty. I migrated in these um, fields. I'll explain the fields more when we get to the topics rather than look at the migration code that was auto-generated by Django. Um, so here's the news models, and uh, boils down to it's a everything is um, inheriting from the wagtail page model, meaning we're placing these pages, these types of pages, into the tree of wagtail pages. So this news index page is here. It's going to list the news or have a faceted search on the side, something along those lines. Um, so essentially, we have this pattern where every kind of page we define has an intro text. That way the editor can always insert some information or links or other rich formatted text there. Um, just as a nice thing and consistent thing. So all the pages that are um, created, there's a little bit of opportunity to uh, personalize them or whatever is needed. Uh, we displayed the intro field and I've, um, we're editing it. We also display the title without, hmm. oh, because I'm displaying the content panels by default. Interesting. Um, Wagtail is a hierarchical page model, and you can kind of define what can go where, which is a good way of keeping your content organized. So this news index page should only exist underneath the home page, and it should only allow news topics and news types uh, to be defined, the index pages for those to be defined below it. What that translates to is essentially when I go to the page model and I look at this news, it's like a folder because it um, can contain sub items. If, if there's no sub items, it doesn't turn into a folder icon. And that's like an analogy that you're kind of like in this filing cabinet, you're organizing things in a tree, there's folders within folders within folders. So within our news um, index page, we can define sub pages for topics and types. That way, when I define a new topic, it goes in the right folder. When I define a new type, it goes in the right folder. And we'll have another folder here for news items. And then you have relationships between those. We'll get into that as we progress. But essentially, the, those are controlled um, that you can only put a certain thing in a certain folder by a parent page types and sub page types. This max count says that we should really only have one news index page. An index page is a listing, basically, of all this stuff. And it's like the folder. You should only have one news index folder. Otherwise, things would get messy. Um, we're not doing anything here, but the context method allows you to pass in information to the template. And in the future, we're going to be passing in news items. So I just left this get context method here as a reminder there. 
um, we'll run some Python code here that will add a, a, an attribute or a property to the um, context dictionary um, that's going to contain the news items. But we have to determine if there will be faceted searching, so I don't know how that's going to come to pass. I'll leave it there. So this is essentially the same pattern for the rest of these. Uh, I just left the gate context uh, defined for these next couple ones. There's an index page for the news topics and an index page for the news types. Um, they both display an intro text and essentially we only want one of each index page and we want to constrain where it can go in that page tree that it should be below the news index page in this case instead of at the root of the website and that only news topics should go into the news topics index page and only news types should go into the news type index page. It's a little bit of boilerplate, but it keeps things real organized, and you'll have to define it this one time. So, and it also gives you a nice clean page uh, hierarchy. So I can say, you know, show me the news page, or if I go back, and I say, show me a page, topic, news, let's say topics, spiritual deepening. When I view this live, we get a real clean URL hierarchy. That's all coming just from. The Wagtail page model, I don't have to write any URLs or anything like that. URLs by. So then the other pattern, we have these index pages which serve as folders, like kind of to organize things, and lists to display all of the items, which we will pass into the context. I haven't defined those currently. I will add those in the next programming session. So once you've got the index pages, you define the actual content news topic has an intro field all of these follow that pattern so my templates are very consistent as well uh, you define the field panels that should display in the editor interface and i just realized i could have done this and then only added the intro field and the title would have automatically come along um, one thing is when we're editing some pages you might want to define you might want to schedule it for later or make it private. But it turns out um, those aren't actually relevant. The scheduling publication date and the privacy settings aren't relevant for certain types of content. So I should be hiding these, to be honest, from all of these. These settings panels should be hidden from all of the um, page types I'll go through and make a note to clean that up. But for example, if I go to news topic, news pages, news topics spiritual deepening and I edit it there's no um, settings panel there because I I zeroed it out here I need to be consistent so I have to do that in each place uh, but basically that's it so just defining where it should go in the page hierarchy news topics go into the news topic index page they don't have any sub pages there will be a relationship between news items and news topics but no I don't think we'll be doing a hierarchy of topics, That's, but that, that could be possible, and in which case we would let topics exist under topics. So I put a news topic here, and then you could have a kind of a self-referential hierarchy, and, and sort of, not really, but literally, but uh, like a hierarchy of the same page type. <laughs> which makes sense, in, like especially when you're categorizing things, some, a lot of times we put, um, you know, we categorize reality in hierarchical ways. Like uh, you've got continents and countries and districts or states and municipalities and those types of things are all kind of like a hierarchical way of categorizing things. Um, that, topics can also sort of be hierarchical. I've figured it out. And news type also follows the same pattern, so it's not really worth explaining those. And the last major thing or significant piece is that our templates are, because I'm using a consistent structure, uh, we just have to define a template for each of those new page types I've introduced so that it can render it here on the front end. Wagtail doesn't concern itself with any of the front end templating. It's completely up to the developer. So we just use regular Django templates. We have a base template that renders in our navigation menu and some other items and the Wagtail um, bar here. And we use a Wagtail core tags because we're, we have a rich text field that we want to parse into uh, HTML and not display the raw HTML tags. And essentially we just display in a content block, we display these page fields. And when I pass the 
context into these pages, we'll also be iterating over the content, potentially grouping it together depending on if we go with the faceted search or if we go like use the read group method to group by topic or group by type, but, but that'll all have to be worked out later. And so these are basically exactly the same, all of these templates, because I kept a very consistent structure, so it allows my code to be um, consistent. Uh, the, actually, this is the other major thing. So we then wanted that nice navigation menu. So that when I come over here to news, I have a flyout menu and I can manage my topics and types. And later, these items will appear here as well. So we just whacked out some helpers for that. And we import our models that we want to register. And we create a model admin for each of them, uh, specifying the menu icon and label. And if you want to control the sort order, you can do that. It defaults to alphabetical for the menus with the same weight, menu items with the same weight. And we don't want it to appear in our settings. And, uh, you know, I, this page explorer um, here, you know, we maybe want to see that there's topics underneath there. So we don't want to exclude that. Um, it does pagination and everything for us. So I just say I want max 10 per page. We can list them and, and search. Um, you know, I don't know how many topics, topics there will be, but if we go to news, oh, types or topics, you know, you can see it's got a pagination interface that's not in use yet. I can add more. All this is auto-generated by Wagtail. Everything here on the back end is Pretty much auto generated by wagtail and gives you it gives you nice um, ways of overriding and defining your own um, functionality as needed so yeah we just defined two model admins they're basically the same code and we grouped them together to get that nice fly out menu and specified one of these font awesome icons so it's not so generic as the folder icon there looks a little bit nicer that way and it's uh, easy to distinguish from the others uh, and likewise, I think if you define the top, the icon, they appear here. Um, so you just put these sub items in the model admin group and register it and it displays in the Wagtail menu. So that was a little bit longer than I thought the recap, I thought it would be a little bit shorter, but in any case, thanks for sticking with me. If you're watching this video to the end, uh, do feel free to leave any questions or comments in the, um, below the video and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day.